Earlier, I made a guide to Voltron decks in Commander, where I talked about the Voltron archetype, how to build it, and how to play it. Well, to add on to that, I built a budget Voltron deck. This deck is just under 60 bucks, and if you already have the basic lands and some of the components, you can probably get it for about 50, which is less than what a lot of the precons are being marked up for. I'm using Card Kingdom prices here because if you have an order of $35 or more, you can get free shipping and get it all in one package. But if you already own many of the pieces, it might be cheaper to get it from individual sellers on like TCG Player or somewhere else. Maybe even your local game store. I decided to build around Kosei Penitent Warlord. Green Green 1 for a 05 Ogre Samurai. As long as Kosei is equipped, enchanted, and has a counter on it, Kosei has whenever he deals damage. To an opponent, you draw that many cards and deal that much damage to each other opponent. Now keep in mind that splash damage is not commander damage because it needs to be combat damage to be commander damage, but it's still really great. This is what I love about Kosei as a Voltron commander. As you aggro down one player, you're chipping away at all of your opponents, meaning after you knock one player out quickly, or even if you just get them low, if they kill your commander and you're able to set up again, you can just attack whoever is open to deal damage and finish off players that are low. And it just makes it easier to take out opponents after recasting your commander. All right, so let's talk about the list. For ramp, I have as many one mana options as I could get within budget. So Birds of Paradise is out, but if you have stuff like that, you can upgrade any of these. One mana ramp is really great because it lets you get your commander out on turn two and start protecting him. And then you really want some two for one cards in your hand. What do I mean by that? Enchantment or equipment that put counters on your commander, letting you fulfill two of the three requirements. So an ideal hand would be something like one mana ramp spell followed by your commander, then something like a ring of Kalania and equip it, and the next turn something as simple as a rancor and boom, equipped it, enchanted, and you get a counter from the ring. Now you can slam someone for damage and start drawing cards and continue snowballing your commander as much as you can. One thing to keep in mind with this deck is patience. By patience here, I mean be careful and save mana for your protection spells, like Snakeskin Veil or Royal Treatment. There's a ton of these in the deck, I loaded it up with them, and you should always hold one up when you can. Instead of attaching one extra piece of equipment, be patient and hold up a blossoming defense. Using these to dodge removal is really good, and it makes your opponents waste their mana while you're able to spend one to just dodge it. And because this commander can draw quite a few cards, it's pretty easy to keep many of these in hand as you keep refilling. Now let's talk about the rest of the deck. Iseo, Enlightened Bushi, is a really awesome card for this list, allowing you to regenerate your commander since he is a samurai. Keep in mind regenerating does tap the creature so it can still stop your commander from attacking if they use removal before combat and you go to regenerate. This deck also has a ton of fight spells. Since Kosei has a really high toughness, once you buff him up, he can fight almost anything. And then I have a few of the big artifact board wipes in here, which might seem odd at first, but after your deck becomes a threat, you're gonna have a full hand because you'll be drawing four or five, maybe more cards a turn. So when your opponents knock out your commander, yeah, your couple of equipments will stick around, but your enchantments are all gonna fall away. So then you can play one of these, wipe the board entirely, and then replay your commander and replay all your threats and get right back into it. You're probably not gonna have a ton of creatures lying around that would get swept up in the board wipe. I also have both versions of Thrun in the deck as backup commanders. If Kosei dies too many times and he's hard to recast, or if you're at a table where there's a lot of counter spells, then suiting up a Thrun can deal some real damage. And if you end up liking one of them more, you could put either of these Thruns at the helm of the deck, and you don't even need to change the deck that much to make it still work as a Voltron build. Otherwise, the deck has some utility cards and card draw to round out the list. But let's say you already own some of these cards or you're willing to spend more money on the deck. What are some upgrades that we could put in? Honestly, getting better equipment can really upgrade the deck a ton. Some of the equipment that gives indestructible are pretty great and other protective equipment like Commander's Plate or Sword of Fire and Ice are excellent. Be careful about Sword of Feast and Famine though because it gives protection from green, which means you'll lose all your auras and you won't be able to attach anymore or target your commander with your green protection spells. Bone Sabers is another two for one that was 
just out of budget for this deck. And if you want, you could add Grafted Exoskeleton. You see, because Kosei deals the damage with his secondary effect, if you give him Infect with the Exoskeleton, then if your commander hits someone for 10, it just knocks the whole table out. If you find yourself running up against a lot of Edict effects, Tanjiro Preserver is a great way to stop those. And if you're up against a lot of go wide decks and you find yourself taking too much chip damage, Crawl Space can help you slow down those go wide decks. Kodama the West Tree is also a very powerful card in a deck that can modify multiple creatures, but it was out of budget for this build. But if you have one, it's great. I'd also potentially add War Room as some extra card advantage in the mana base. You can never draw too many cards. If you have any suggestions for the deck, let me know in the comments below. And if you want to try this deck out, I have a link in the description, so go take a look. Thank you so very much for watching. Subscribe for more.